All right, so this is the Buddy Hex, uh, and this uh, Sport Tube, I think it's the two hard case, not only fits the Buddy Hex, but it also fits the mask, the tripod, the quad plexer, and the coax that we're going to use to run down the mast uh, so we don't have to use our LMR 400 up the mast. Wow, nothing else needed. Nothing else needed. Totally, totally in case. So we're uh -huh. going to walk over there to the shade. <laughs> okay, how much does that weigh? What do you think? 40 pounds? 40 pounds. Not bad. Okay. Do the cases come from Buddy Pole? So, Buddy Pole sends out some soft cases. Okay. And they work really well. Uh, but since these are club material, we wanted kind of something to hold it all together. Okay. And really protect it. So these are cases you got on your own then? Exactly. So, uh, okay. a lot of online sites recommend it. Oh, okay. Held together by a pin. Sports tube. Okay. And it's all going to fly open now. So this is the coax we use up the mast. Yeah. This is a quad plexer. Quad plexer. So we can run different bands off of one antenna. Here's the buddy hex itself. And this is the <laughs> tripod. Which uh, size tripod can you go with? The full size. The All full 10 size. Meters. <laughs> 10 meters. <laughs> All right, circle so fiber, right? Here is the tripod. Mass Works tripod. We're actually going to take this mast out. Oh, wow. All right. This is a building tube. Ah, okay. Which, you know, it's a little pricey for what it is, but for convenience. You can assemble the beam on that, yeah. so you're not stepping on it and you gotta... tripping over the wires. There it is. Cool. It even has a bubble level built in. It is really easy. If there had been three photos of specific points, yeah, I would have never needed anything else. But okay. I had to go to YouTube to find out. Go to YouTube. So. When all else fails. Yep. You might hold that. So these, you have to unwrap. I was going to say harder than it looks, but apparently it is as hard as it looks. There we go. You got some lines there. Yeah. There we go. All right. So this totally comes off. That is one arm of the hex beam. They're all disconnected. This is the core that holds it. The core, okay. Um, and there's three poles, so one, two, three, as you saw. And the blue is the top. Pop this open. I've seen a couple of these. The rope goes out away from you. And then you just straighten these out and attach them. And you shove it in a hole. Does it matter which one goes where? Oh, wow. Depends on who you ask, but <laughs> it does not. You have to keep it epic. There you go. To the small top. Like problem. You grab. So the flat goes facing down and the cord from the top comes back. Your little nut here should be black. You feed it through the hole and then let it go. You're going to take it and you're going to give yourself some slack and push it through the hole. Oh, push this one down. Yep. There you go. Oops. All right, let go. It should be gray. You're going to walk it to its neighbor to your right. As long as you're facing the pole. You will notice there is a hole. Yep. Stick it through from the outside. that there are different color sleeves. One, two, three, four, five, six for six bands. So we start with the closest first, the closest being black. So here's what we're gonna do. So we start on the bottom. You loosen these, that's perfect, Don't, no more. They made a change. The latest one has a hook. Oh, hook. That's great. So you don't Not have an to eyelid. take the nut, yeah. Because that was one of their biggest complaints. You, you take drop that, it and you go, oh my, yeah. 
And then I'm going to hand that to you and unspool it, walk in that way. Oh, these are nice spools. Yep. All right. So hold there for a second. So what we do now is we make sure this hook is down. It goes under and in. Don't force it. Don't stretch it. Just put it in. And then make sure it's reasonably taut. All right, Bajai, you're going to go that way. Unspool kind of as you go. So now, now you will note this wire here ends. And then you have a nylon cord here. That's because this is half. Yep, this is a half of your uh, driven element. The rest is your second element, your reflector. Your reflector and then the other part. The other part. Yeah, I got Yeah, I have the KIA towers. I love it. It's really worth it. Why do you think that? I kind of like this portable jobber. Yeah, me too. And you don't have to put up all the bands. They recommend it for residents. That's cool. That's cool. This is so cool. This is so cool. <laughs> because this group used to put up real towers and real beams. And that is a lot of work. Things where the wire goes in. So either the instructions need to be updated to 10 meters, or the person that cut it needs to cut it to 10 meters instead of six. Yeah. Okay. So you're putting it across the grays there. There we go. Yep. Yeah, okay. Perfect. And I want to make sure you connect the coax before you start pushing it up. Sure. Why, right, this is the antenna Olympics. Pull. Underneath and push it in with your finger. There you go. Same on the second. Something went yeah. quick. Yeah. Have a little knob in there on the other side. There you go. Perfect. Okay, this needs to go longer. It's got to go towards George. Towards George? Uh, yep. Use... Oops. Going down, and we're in. This separates. One part goes this way, one part goes that way, and there's holes. And it snaps together. It snaps together. Wow. Does it want it over the top or through the bottom? Probably more From like the top. that. Like this? Nope. Okay, and a 50 50 chance. <laughs> Nine times out of ten, I'm usually wrong. <laughs> All right. I think it's too wiggly at the top. I, I think it's too thin. Okay, we can drop it. Yeah, I would, I would probably. Okay, so we've lowered it. Yeah. The top section down so it's not as wobbly. Is there two, two guy levels or three? Two. There's two. Okay. The two should be fine. Let's stop there, Joel. I mean, Josh. Whoever. Jay. <laughs> Alright, so that's I'm, one, I'm, two, below three. Alright, another graze. And then, and from the top. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Alright, Joel, six inches. Yeah. I'm assuming Chris is gonna tighten it in. Well that's basically it, I think. So on the second one, we're gonna put the pole up first and get it guide before we put the antenna on it.